this in place you begin to understand why carbon is able to form these large chains so you can take carbon and you can take another carbon they can come together and form one kind of a molecule called let the, let's say there's one bond between them alone so one carbon satisfies the other carbon with one electron and hydrogens do the rest so you'll get a molecule that has two carbons and count correctly one two three four five six six hydrogens right yeah we already saw a variation of this where all valencies are satisfied by hydrogens alone that's called methane right carbon with four hydrogens right now here you have two carbons so instead of ch4 you have ch3 and ch3 coming together is that satisfied are all of them getting the rocket yes they are and we know why that is mapped to stability so with this you have some other compound which is going to be called ethane yeah so you'll see them soon begin to notice these patterns as to how these things are named and we'll also tell you how they are named so you have ethane over here but there's another way this can happen right carbon and carbon need not just give one to each other they can be a little more closer yeah by giving two so a double bond can form between carbons so you take these two molecules aside let's say let's say two carbons and let's say instead of just sharing one electron these two carbons decide to get a little closer they share two electrons which leaves only two more electrons right to be bonded with something else so how many hydrogens would you need just two hydrogens so you have two carbons now and you have two hydrogens and a double bond between the carbons now this is going to be called something else yeah for your purposes now this will be called an ethene so that was called an ethane this is going to be called an ethene yeah or ethene eventually so you have ethene over here and the obvious next question that you already have is what okay one bond is possible two bonds is possible why not three bonds and you would be right because only four bonds is not possible so why not three bonds so if you set this aside as well and take two carbons and this time they get really close yeah they want to form three bonds between each other yeah so they do, they do their best to get as close as each other as possible they form three bonds now they have only one more electron to be satisfied to get their octets so you have hydrogens coming in place just one hydrogen for each and you have just two hydrogens and carbon over here with three bonds in the middle and now this is called an ethene so you had an ethene you had an ethene and then you need ethene the single bond a double bond and a triple bond now there is a naming convention we're going to see over here which is simply that whenever there are only single bonds the compound is called a saturated one so ethene is saturated and ethene and ethene are unsaturated why why this naming why are they doing this yeah so all compounds of carbon right which are called hydrocarbons usually there are hydrogens and carbons sometimes there are other molecules like chlorine and bromine and oxygen nitrogen these these things come into place but usually it's predominantly carbon and hydrogen that's why we are all we all also are considered to be hydrocarbons predominantly so you have ethene which has only single bonds ethene which has a double bond and ethene which has a triple bond and that is saturated but these two are unsaturated in other words whenever you see a double or a triple bond you call that compound unsaturated now why why because we know saturated means what it's satisfied right that's kind of the meaning of saturated it's done to keep learning with such engaging videos download byjuice the learning app today